Fires up, everyone! Hey everyone, Tally here with a little OBS tutorial for you. Now, a lot of people ask me, Tally, how do you do your local recording? Which I don't really do a lot of. As you can see, I'm not really too big into the YouTubes anymore. I try to make videos when I can. I'm actually pretty excited to make some videos uh, in the near future for YouTube using this style of local recording. Um, as you know, I just got a great PC from Origin PC. And I decided to let's push it to the limit a little bit. And I researched a lot on the internet on recording locally with OBS because what happens is when you're streaming a lot of the times if you're moving left and right you get this little pixelation you'll get it too if you record at the same settings that you stream at and that kind of sucks things become blurry in the background so I researched these settings and I found a great uh, open broadcast software forms post a few of them that all led to the same setting so I'm going to just make it public in a video and see how you guys like it so what we're going to do is now you know, as usual, I'm not well versed in all this technical jargon of OBS. I'm going to just give you the settings and then I can tell you how to adjust it to make the quality better or lower depending on what kind of computer you have. So we're going to look into the settings here. I'm going to move this over here to the main screen. So these are the settings you want to use under your encoding section. Now, usually I would have Z, uh, ZBR. <laughs> CBR checked off. My bitrate would be 4000. My um, buffer size would also be 4000. So what you want to do is you want to uncheck CBR, put your quality however you want, 10. You know, the difference between 2 and 10 is a lot. Between 7 and 10, not so much. 8 and 10, not so much. 5 and 10, eh, a little bit. I just do 10 because I have the computer that can handle it. Uh, max bit rate, only 1,000. Uh, VBV, the buffer, leave it at 0. That way what we do is once you have the buffer at 0, we're going to leave uh, the X264 encoder to handle all the quality settings that we're going to set um, in here in advance. Now in advance, what you want to do is you want to check off custom X264 encoder settings. And then here you want to type in CRF equals. Now you can go from zero to about 22, 25. Um, the lower the number, the better the quality. Basically, if you put it to zero, it, your video should look exactly like how you were playing it when you recorded it. You're going to look at your OBS and you're going to see like it's going to be going at like sometimes like 190 kilobytes per second, uh, you know, on the bottom right hand corner. It's going to go uh, or whatever KB slash S is. I think it's kilobytes per second, right? Yeah. Um, it's going to be pretty crazy. You're going to see your temperature spike up. You're going to see uh, your GPU and CPU temperature spike up a little bit. But I mean, as long as your computer can hold, hold it, it'll be great. So I put it to five. That's me being safe. I'm going to try zero tonight and see how that goes. Hopefully zero isn't that crazy, but that's how I plan to record locally. Now, after this um, little vocal tutorial is over, I will be putting a maybe like a 30 second example of what the quality looks like um, from my recordings. Obviously, it might change a little bit because I have to render it with uh, Vegas. I haven't really figured out how to take this beautiful video that I'm going to create and then put it in Vegas and then render it properly. I'm going to have to figure that one out as well, but once again, um, my settings, and you can adjust it once again. Uh, encoding has to be this way besides the quality balance. Uncheck CBR. Use the X264 encoder. Um, check off. Use custom buffer size. Put that to zero. Max bit rate 1000. Quality balance up to you. I put 10. Like I said, difference between 7, 8, and 10. Not that much, but I just put it at 10 anyway. And then go to advance. CRF equals whatever number you want, 0 to 20, or I think 25 might be the max. I'm not exactly sure. It could go really high, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But CRF equals 5. If I were you guys, and let's say you're running just a normal 4-core uh, uh, CPU, I'd try 10. 6-core, go for like, I don't know. Uh, if you're running a 6-core, go hams. I mean, I, I have an 8-core, and I'm doing 5, so... Test it out. I mean, don't make it so your computer besides. Once again, I'm not responsible for what happens to you after you use these settings. I'm just telling you what I'm using. Thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up the video. And uh, what, what, what do YouTubers say nowadays? They say, um, uh, thumbs up the video. Uh, subscribe. Uh, uh, tell your friends and shit about the channel. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I should probably shut this down.
This here's a toll crossing. By what right? By the right of a prick up your backside, wise ass. Pay up or stop fucking swimming. I'll cross, but I'm not gonna pay you a broken copper. Broken's what your jaw'll be once our clubs are done with it. Botmir, have it the thrifty fucker. <laughs> Let's go! 